Hi, I'm Casey Gray, guided by Grace, and this is D&D Expertise, Episode 18. Elden Ring is a fantasy RPG set in the lands between and published by FromSoft. I'm just kidding, you already know what this game is. If you're like me, you've spent dozens of hours traversing its incredible open world, and while it's overflowing with ideas that you can drop into your campaign, the one I want to talk to you about today is Torrent. You get given the Spectral Steed Whistle fairly quickly, and it's so nice not having to travel the enormous distances of the land between on foot. Mechanically, it's a lot like your horse in The Witcher 3. You decide you want to travel, and a few moments later you have yourself a horse. Geralt's horse also appears out of thin air, but in his case that's just because it's a video game. It's just spawning in out of sight to make things convenient for you, and you know when you do it that the horse wasn't there a moment ago, even if the game pretends that it was. Elden Ring has the elegance to acknowledge that your steed is supernatural, and give you an explanation for it. Your horse appears immediately no matter where in the world you previously left it, because it's a spirit that you're summoning. D&D almost gets there with its figurines of wondrous power, but they intentionally make it too limited to rely on consistently. Tiamat forbid that your character just has something convenient, except that the bag of holding exists to give characters a video game sized inventory anyway. Making it an instant summon also makes it more action oriented, and you can use it in dramatic situations instead of just to save time on road trips. Unless your game is grim and gritty, give the party magic mounts and let them ride in style. <laughs> 